Poti mene leta sprvič, da se vam javljam, kole tukaj le sem pred mu grade. Povejte tole. No, leta zbo tega še ful velik, kot da se bomo fajn imeli. Spremljite, šečkite, lajkite, prijavite se, pa vse tako naprej. Ok, spet sem ne urejen, dober, ampak nekaj na hitro, gledajte. Tako da, nekaj bomo videli še danes, ampak sam na hitro. Rabbar Tower is located on the southern edge of the mountain field in the immediate vicinity of the mountain cave. It was first mentioned in 1444. The tower, built in late Gothic style, is a remnant of the medieval little castle. The mighty round tower has a Gothic chapel preserved on the first floor. Inside the tower you can see the beautiful star-ribbed ceiling. Entry to the interior of the tower is only possible upon prior announcement. The tower is named after Nikolai Ravbar, the Earl of Trieste and uncle of Gaspar Ravbar, who killed the knight Erasm Prejamski in Prejama Castle in 1484. An interpretative and educational center will be created in the premises of the Ravbar Tower. It will be equipped with modern audiovisual equipment so that visitors can also see a short film during the visit. In addition to interpreting the importance of preserving biodiversity and mountain field ecosystems, visitors will be offered a printed brochure. The mountain cave is located near the Rabbar Tower. It is made up of diverse halls, numerous beautiful lakes and drips. The cave is almost 7 kilometers long and is considered the largest water cave in Slovenia. Its second important feature is one of the largest confluences of underground rivers in Europe. The mountain cave is distinguished by its exceptional biodiversity. In addition to 60 species of aquatic animals, there are 40 species of land animals. Among them is the most famous human fish. In the water system of the mountaineer caves live the largest population of human fish in Slovenia. The mountain cave is organized with the help of halogen lamps. Guests can choose between a classic one-hour tour and a four- to five-hour boat tour, which is possible with low water levels. Please note that prior reservation is required for participation. The visit to this part of Slovenia was very quick, because the purpose was to get information about a few places that most people do not visit and are less known. I will visit this place next year and make a better and longer report than lesser known caves, but just as beautiful.